My name is James Cole. I'm a medical laboratory scientist. I don't know anyone who has ever performed patient testing and reported their results in the context of a series of mutations and biodiversity of human tissue types. Other medical laboratory scientists use experimental evidence of biologically based cause and effect to link what is known about the difference between nutrient dependent healthy longevity and pathology. For example, after I submitted the abstract for this poster presentation, an article linked everything known about quantum physics to induction of gonadotropin-releasing hormone messenger RNA expression. Gonadotropin-releasing hormone, or GnRH, links all cell type differentiation in all vertebrates to all the microRNAs in bull sperm that's linked to fertility in mammals. I don't think that the authors realize they had also linked docosahexanoic acid and another fatty acid from microRNA9 and microRNA200 to nutrient-dependent transcription factors and human fertility. The transcription factors link the development of the olfactory systems and the immune systems of all vertebrates to GnRH synthesis in hormone secreting neurons. Neurons that secrete GnRH are linked to every aspect of nutrient dependent vertebrate, morphological, and behavioral diversity. If you only look at the work cited in this poster session, you could link everything known about nutrient dependent cell type differentiation to healthy longevity. You could also link everything known about viruses to all pathology. For example, the nematode model of learning and memory links amino acid sensing to RNA-mediated amino acid substitutions that protect our organized genomes from virus-driven changes in nerve cells that alter olfactory acuity and specificity in Alzheimer's disease. In two weeks, Corey Bargman will receive an award that links a single neuron to all works on the lifespan and behavior of the nematode C. elegans. That neuron integrates information from multiple chemical cues, including food, oxygen, and pheromones. The integration of the cues controls the expression of social behavior in the context of changes in pH. She is scheduled to present genes, neurons, circuits, and behavior, an integrated approach in a compact brain. Her work links cell type differentiation in a compact neuronal system to everything known to scientists inside and outside the hospital laboratory. Many scientists know how ecological variation and ecological adaptation link atoms to ecosystems in all living genera. For example, Food, oxygen, pH, and temperature link the nutrient-dependent pheromone-controlled physiology of reproduction from C. elegans to the GnRH neuronal system of all vertebrates. All behavior is linked to supercoiled DNA in species, species from microbes to humans. Supercoiled DNA is the link from RNA-mediated DNA repair to examples of ecological adaptation. In this model, the nutrient-dependent microRNAs link energy-dependent changes from hydrogen atom transfer in DNA base pairs and solution to the molecular mechanisms that link morphological and behavioral phenotypes to survival of the species via their physiology of reproduction. In the first part of this poster session, six citations link everything known about nutritional epigenetics from microRNAs to RNA-mediated amino acid substitutions. The substitutions differentiate all cell types in all organized genomes, and that is the key uh, to the link to all living genera. Uh, fixation of beneficial amino acid substitutions in organized genomes links them to uh, ecological adaptation. 
fixation occurs in the context of the energy dependent physiology of reproduction. In the second part of the poster, four more citations link virus driven energy theft to all pathology. Part three links nine more citations and examples of biologically based cause and effect from the Zika virus to differences in human craniofacial and behavioral phenotypes. The link, the key to the model of nutrient dependent transgenerational epigenetic inheritance of healthy longevity compared to Zika virus and other virus driven pathology is the energy that is required for RNA mediated cell type differentiation. The Zika virus and other viruses steal energy that links odors and the immune system to the GnRH neuronal system in all vertebrates from a, a single neuron in C. elegans. Nutrient energy dependent prenatal migration of GnRH neuron secreting neurons, GnRH secreting neurons, links the epigenetic effects of food odors and pheromones to changes in the HPG and HPA axes that link hormones to behavior. The energy dependent GnRH pulse modulates energy dependent hydrogen atom transfer in DNA base player pairs in blood. Our blood links what nematodes eat from their metabolic networks and genetic networks to the stability of all organized genomes when the networks lead to supercoiled DNA. In all vertebrates, the neurons that secrete GnRH link metabolic networks to genetic networks during the concurrent maturation of the neuroendocrine, reproductive, and central nervous systems. The GnRH neuronal system can be compared to a single neuron in C. elegans because GnRH links the physiology of reproduction, sex differences in behavior, and other behavioral differences that link RNA-mediated amino acid substitutions to morphological phenotypes and behavioral phenotypes. For example, what nematodes eat links the behavior of C. elegans to the behavior of P. pacificus, a predatory nematode with teeth. I've added quotations from Schrodinger, Philip Ball, and Bruce McEwen at the bottom of the poster. I hope their works will encourage others to learn more about the anti-entropic energy of the sun and how it links light and energy to the biophysically constrained chemistry of protein folding. Protein folding starts with epigenetic effects on genes that are linked to affects on behavior in the context of the system biology represented in this model. In the early 1990s, I learned to differentiate between the effects on hormones and the affects of hormones on behavior. And that led me to link the sun's virucidal energy from UV light to supercoiled DNA, which protects organized genomes from virus-driven entropy. From the perspective of physics, higher animals metabolize food and they return the degraded forms of food, which are the power supply that links soil bacteria to the growth of plants. But sunlight is the source of the anti-entropic energy in plants. The quantized nature of light and energy links all of Einstein's theories to chemistry. Quantum physics explains how matter and light interact, which most people can link to the reasons why grass is green and the sky is blue. Medical laboratory scientists know that the nature of light and energy is also measured in the spectroscopic methods that enable us to decode the structures of molecules, which link hydrogen atom transfer in DNA base pairs 
to the visible spectrum of light, but also to UV light and infrared light. In the context of light, chemistry and molecular epigenetics, molecular laboratory scientists learn the difference between an effect on their test results and an affect on their behavior. The epigenetic effects of the sun's biological energy are linked to affects on behavior in all living genera by supercoiled DNA that protects organized genomes from virus-driven entropy.